Uh, one of the new confirmed cases today is in Stratford, where they just held a news conference and we're now learning the patient is a child, as we said, and attended an elementary school there. Today, the superintendent decided to shut down all the schools in that district. Everyone can have the opportunity to um, not uh, be in the, a petri dish, so to speak, of the schools. And so we feel this is the best um, action to take at this time to keep all of our students and our families at home safe. Stratford's health director tells us the sick child was likely infected by someone they know who also lives here in Connecticut. Central Connecticut State University shut down its New Britain campus after a student had contact with someone who may have the coronavirus. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino has been in New Britain throughout the day today. He has more details for us tonight. Mike, what can you tell us? Well, Mark, like we're seeing in a lot of places, the situation here remains fluid as school officials try to get more information. This includes whether or not that other person will in fact test positive for COVID-19. And if so, who did this other student contact? It could be the nerve, but as you could tell, like, I'm kind of like, you know, I don't know what to really do with myself right now. Students today asking questions as they leave Central Connecticut State University's campus, notified around 1040 a.m. that campus was closed. And when everyone's uh, in passing, going to their next class, we all got the email and realized that we're not going to our next class. CCSU closed the campus after learning today a student came into contact with someone else who may have a COVID-19 infection. The school is now awaiting those results. The school didn't identify the student, but said they don't live on campus. They also said the contact came at a job the student works off campus. The school is now trying to trace that student's steps. So we have mixed reactions from a lot of people, but there's definitely concerns all around. I see some people crying. I see some people panicking. I see some people calm. I Me, mean, personally, I'm all over the place. Only essential personnel remain on campus, which will now be closed through Saturday. The school urged us to stay off campus. President Zulma Toro was self-isolating and not available to talk today. She did say in a letter to students, in suddenly closing campus this morning, my every intention was to protect us all from community spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus. CCSU is on spring break next week. Classes will also be shifting to online learning beginning March 23rd through at least April 5th. With the closure, the school is offering housing assistance to students who plan to stay through spring break. The school also canceled internships and on-campus events, including athletics. Also today, the CSCU system telling faculty at all 17 schools to work from home through April 5th. Now, I want to show you some of the things we're doing here at Eyewitness News when we have to do these stories. There's some video of me using hand sanitizer and then a Lysol wipe for the microphone after we did these interviews. We also talked with just those two students that you saw, interviewing them off of campus. We are trying to strike a balance here at Eyewitness News between getting you all the information you need while minimizing our exposure and the changes that we help spread this virus. Live from New Britain, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.